good morning to all respected dignitaries and listeners on this wonderful platform this is munira rasool phd scholar at school of life sciences and technology iimt university meerut uttar pradesh india i am feeling very honor to present my original research on this wonderful platform given to me by research circle as part of the immccrt 2025 virtual conference i will now like to present my research study and i am sharing the screen give me a minute i hope the screen is visible to each and every one before beginning my presentation once again i am sharing i am grateful to research circle for giving me this opportunity in virtual mode to present my original research article chosen for oral presentation on this esteemed platform now i am discussing about my original research article the title of my study is c reactive protein levels in polycystic ovarian syndrome a marker of inflammation and cardiometabolic risk an analytical study in india first of all i would like to give you introduction about pcos as i am specialized in biochemistry and my research domain is pcos polycystic ovarian syndrome is among the most common endocrine disorders affecting more than 10 to 12% of women of reproductive age mostly 18 to 45 years of age prevalence of pcos in kashmir is 41% among infertile which is significantly high most of the women with pcos are huge with central obesity and overweight or obese by bmi standards several clinical features of pcos are expressed differently in affected women women with pcos are at higher risk for a number of illness such as high blood pressure diabetes mellitus cardiovascular problems and cancer of ovary or uterus now the abstract and background polycystic ovarian syndrome is one of the main causes of infertility many studies show that pcos is associated with production of inflammatory factors like c reactive protein and interleukin 6 tumor necrosis factor which have prognostic significance in analyzing the risk of future cardiovascular disease american heart association has put forward c reactive protein as a clinically useful marker for risk of cardiovascular disease previous studies show an increased incidence of high levels of uh, crp in pcos patients as compared to controls if such an association is proved in our population crp can be used as an ideal marker to screen apparently normal young pcos women for cardiovascular disease so we wanted to assess the crp level in pcos through this study the methods used were this was an analytical study conducted in the outpatient departments of infertility and gynecology in various hospitals of jammu and kashmir from the year 2021 to 2023 it was conducted among women of age 24 36 years who were diagnosed to have pcos according to rotterdam criteria satisfying inclusion criteria women of age 24 to 36 years were taken as 
comparison group. The study was conducted on 70 PCOS women and 65 non-PCOS women which were taken as comparison group. Data was obtained with the help of appropriate questionnaire and laboratory investigations. CRP level was assessed by immunoturbidimetric method. CRP was found to significantly elevated with probability value less than 0 0.01 in PCOS cases. It was 1.97 plus minus 2.26 and when it was compared to women without PCOS, they were having 0.26 plus minus 0.4. The conclusion, CRP was found to be significantly higher in PCOS women as compared to women without PCOS. Thus, C-reactive protein can be used as a tool to assess inflammatory state in PCOS. Thank you for patient listening.